We are here right now with uh, Mrs. Veronica Tobias, a very charming lady in the village of Kalibishi. And she's going to tell us about her life story. We're just going to have a nice casual conversation so that uh, people out there, you know, watching this film, this uh, small documentary on Mrs. Tobias, they could get a feel and get to know exactly who is she and how she grew up and her life with her late husband, Mr. Lawrence Tobias. We all knew him as Lego in the village. Very well-built man, very quiet, very nice man. Also, Mrs. Veronica Tobias, we all know as Vivi. You know, a couple in the village that, you know, everyone knew and everyone appreciated and liked. So, Vivs, yes. tell us something. Were you born here in Kalibishi? Yes. Okay, and who were your parents? Mathurin Edwards and David Edwards. They're dead. Okay. And you grew up here, you grew up in the Catholic in Church? Catholic Church. Okay. And what about school? Which school I went you to the government school in Kalibishi. I went in Hampstead Primary School. I went to Hampstead Primary School. I went to Hampstead for just a couple of months, but I ended up in Kalibishi. So tell us about school in those days. I know people used to see them on coconut. <laughs> in school in these days, we were not as popular as now. But I remember in my days, I was the queen of Kalibishi once. Yes. Myself and Frampton Benjamin mm -hmm. in Kalibishi. Well, after that, we, in, we had no promotion to go further. Yeah. So we stay home and go to school. Okay. And I left school when I was 16. 16. 17, 18, 19, my husband came to me, yeah. Lawrence Tobias, and when I was 20, he got married, he married me, yeah. and he was only 19. Mm -hmm. From that, I, I got pregnant and I had to stay to make my baby, and he went to England, and from that, I followed him to England. Oh, so you had your first child, child your born son in, or daughter? A daughter, okay. born in Dominica. And her name was? Marvelyn Tobias. Marvelyn Tobias. Yes. And she's in England right now. She's in England now. So you had your daughter, and then Leo left you, went to England, England. and uh, tried to open a way for you guys. Yes. You know, for and I home. came up okay. to meet him. Okay. And my daughter came up around a year after, okay. but she was still small. Okay. But how it was in England? I know it was a little bit rough. It was Indians. a little bit hard. <coughs> Job was not very frequently, not the money. But that's what we went for, so we try our best and get a job. Yeah. I work for, I work in a laundry for the first time. Okay. And then I went to British Airways. That's where I worked for a couple of years. From there, so, I... So you work in the airline? In what, the airline. Catering. Okay, the catering. Catering, British Airways. Yeah. Then I left to come down to Dominica. We stayed 20, 20 something years in England. Came down below house and we left our two daughters in England. And I came back to Dominica and I settled down here. Which it was very good with my husband. But before before you tell us about coming back home, yeah. I would like you to tell us about England because I know definitely it was not very easy for you guys, especially West Indians, immigrants in England. You all had to work very hard to make it. I heard that um, West Indians will be living in a small house of yes. other West Indians and have to face that harsh, cold weather in England, you know, and uh, tell us, tell us, tell us how yeah. it was, how people used to relate, if you also have, you know, meetings yeah, well, or Yeah, we used together. to have relationship with each other, <clears throat> but when you leave your country to go to another country, it doesn't matter what you have to face, you have to face it because you want to make ends meet. Yeah. And we tried our best. But we didn't stay in rental for long. We bought a house. And from that house we bought, it helps us a lot. Yeah. Because we have to pay to pay the rent and pay the mortgage. Yeah. They, they call it before in mortgage, you used to pay your mortgage. So we fought and we paid. And after we said we are not staying any longer because England is so cold. Yeah. We couldn't very cold sometime. So we left there. We spent I think twenty four years in England. But how was it about the government? Did the government really actually treated 
the, 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 the foreigners, the immigrants, well, what, what they had in place? Well, uh, everybody was looking for themselves to get jobs. Yeah. So some of them, if the government, if it have jobs, we get. And if it haven't got, we fight ourselves to get. Yeah. And we the West Indies, when we go to West Indians, when we go to, when we go overseas, we make our best to see what we can earn. Yeah, because, because it's not your place. It's not our place. Yeah. And we need to come there to stay. We come there for a living, right. to earn money, to, to go back in our better. country, to make a better right. life. Exactly. And that's what we did. So what Le, what Le used to do? Used Le to was a forklift driver. Forklift, I could imagine Le was. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he drove for Quaker Oats for many, many years. Okay. Yes. So he had a good job. A good job. Yeah. Forklift driver. He used to walk night and day. Yeah. And he's not a guy that you know will get himself in trouble. Like, no, 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 he's a very quiet boy. Yeah. To lose his job or anything. He wouldn't like that at all. So you, you, you stuck together as a family? As a family. So when you all got married? In Dominica. Oh, in Dominica. Yeah. You got married in Dominica. Mm -hmm. And then he left first. Okay. So how was that way? You know, you had oh, a lot of people. Good. Yes, <laughs> a lot of them. A lot of the people die out. You know, that was yeah. in the wedding. But my auntie. Chief George and my brother. Mm. How many brothers you have? I had three. I had two brothers. I know. I three know. of them, Harcourt and Lord, mm. both died. Yes. But Clayton is in Texas. Okay. Clayton is married to Morgan. No. Uh, What's her name again? So no, I have a name there. She was. He was once married to Morgan. Okay. But no, he married to another girl. Your, your mommy, best yes, that's why I ask you because I know. Yeah, your mommy, best friend. Yes, I know they are friends, very good yeah, friends. Very yeah. Very <clears throat> so life in England was hard. It was but hard. You, st you still enjoy, enjoy it, it because I know you know, based on you know people that I spoke to that lived in England, I know you all used to really have a lot of meetings with each other to it, you know go out all the friends you know oh, home and, and, and eat and drink and especially eat and Christmas have party time. Yeah. and make ourselves happy even the work is a little hard yeah. but we can we used to enjoy ourselves yeah. and we try our best to save mm -hmm. because we didn't come to stay in England so it was very good going to England to know some here yeah. because born and bred in Dominica you don't know where but Going to England, I was very glad. From England, I went to Canada. Okay. For my there, that's where my brother got married. From there, I went to New York. So I travel when I go to England. Yeah. So, so you have, you have my, traveled. You have seen I the world. I see the world. Yes. I, I see, you know. Yes. Yeah. I went to Texas on my 50th anniversary mm. for six weeks, myself and Lily. Yeah. We spent a good time there. So you you came from humble beginnings. Yes. But you fought your fought way, way out you know, and you made a life for yourself. I know you're living comfortable. Comfortable, very comfortable, yes. thanks God. What, what age you had your, your second child? Um, I I had mine at the first child, I was 20. Yeah, because I married in 1959. Yeah. Because she's 54 years. Jennifer born, like, Marvin born that month, same month I got married, okay. the same year. So Jennifer born, I think, probably a year after. I would say a year after because you know what? When he came up, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I got pregnant and yeah. because Jennifer is 52 now. So you have grown up children? Grown up women. Yeah, grown up, grown up children. Yeah. Jennifer's first son is 20 years. And Marvlin made a bit later. She's 15 now. Big girl. Okay. So, so tell us a little bit about Liv. Because yes. in living in Calvishi, I've never heard you guys in any confusion, any arguments. No, Leo was a very quiet guy. He didn't like too many friends. Yeah. But he had his special friends. But that was not because of selfishness. It's no, 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 no. That is that's a man. Of peace and quiet. Yeah, he was a peaceful yeah. time. He liked to be peaceful. He liked to be quiet. Sometimes he go out and meet the guys. Sometimes when he hear him, they talk too loud. He just go home. Yeah. He don't like trouble. Mm. He don't want to get himself involved. But otherwise, he was a nice man. That man is a man that wanted to know his house is under control. Yeah. 
everything is ready. We go to church together. We eat all the time together. I don't think you're going to cry. <laughs> Always eating together. So, you know, you'll be in the kitchen preparing breakfast. Yes. He himself will come He's there. He will help me. He'll come and help You know, prepare breakfast with you. You know, know, some husbands, they leave everything for, for the wife. For the wife. But he's not Not like you. He used to call Meet you halfway. You know? Meet me halfway. Yeah. Sometimes he says, says to me, I call me this. I said, don't worry, I did everything already. Yeah. But it still doesn't matter. I still call him. He can run and so on. So he was a nice boy. And it's not a man that you had to worry about. No, no, no. Like he, he leave the house about, and no, he might come his... back you know, next day. No, 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 no. He never <laughs> do that. He go out and come back a little late. Yeah. But nothing to worry about. He was a private person to you, he was always loving to you. Always, and you always, always together. To church together. All the time. Yeah. All the time. You always say to sit on the veranda. Viv, I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I say, wait, I have to, you know, women have to do more things. Yeah. So I say, wait. Wait, I'll, I'll come. And then we go together, we come back together. All the time. I cannot say anything for my life. I had a good life. At 54 years, I had a good life. You had a happy life, and that's happy the most life. important thing. You know, and, and one thing that really, really contributed to that is your husband. Yes, yes. If you have a, a partner and you are not living well, then you feel happy. It doesn't make any sense. You know, and it's just, it's just sad that you know, he left, left you so early. Yeah. But, you know, God we was, was 54, he was he born 39, mm. and I born 38. From six months between yeah, you. Yeah. And when you all came back from England, you all went into, I remember you all went into farming. Farming. Yeah. And we sold a lot of bananas. Yeah. You always used to sell a lot of, lot lot of, lot of bananas. bananas. Yes. I was a driver. He never likes to drive. Yeah, I find it strange. How comes he not drive? Never, never liked to drive. But he has more experience than me. Yeah. But he never likes to drive. So he bought all the transport for me. Yeah. That's the last one he bought for me. Yeah. He always. But he don't like driving. Yeah. Probably he'll come or something. You'll always sit at the back on the tailbone. <laughs> at the end of the week, at the that back. Is. <laughs> always. Eh? One foot yeah. outside. One foot inside. And maybe at the front drive. All the time. All <laughs> Vicky's in England. But tell me something. You all had one of the most popular disco in Dominica at one time. Yeah. That was in the 80s, yeah. going to, into the 90s. Yes. Very we had it for school. seven years. Yeah. Wadi Koli played here ten times. Oh my goodness, Wadi Koli was a favorite. I could remember leaving when I was small boy, leaving my mother's house without she knew it. Oh, yes. Take a fast little dance yes. downstairs. <laughs> and go back. Wadi Koli <laughs> played here for ten years. Yeah. Ten times, ten times. And once we bar the whole yard with coconut yeah. and coconut branches mm -hmm. and we just need the door alone. Yeah. We used to have police assistants. Uh, of course, yeah, it was a I mean, major disco. Yeah, yeah. During it was from Granby. Yeah. One night I saw a guy came in with a white girl. I said, hello, you're not from here. Say, mm -hmm. mama from Granby. Hmm. We heard about the disco. Yeah. But at the end, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, close it down. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it was it was it was it was good for the village man because it Yes, but we didn't have that before. Yeah, I don't yeah. think we had that before. No. And it was very enjoyable. The boys yes. and them yes. enjoyed it very well. Uh -huh. I think it was successful. Yeah. So you all, you know, left, went to England, did what you're supposed to do, Come and back. came back home Below and you house. even invest. We yeah. our house and we, because the estate we had there, we employed, we had a lot of people employed there. Yes. They were making money. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now we sold that away in a long time. Oh, you are getting laid, you don't need yeah, yeah. anymore. And Leo, we are sitting here four years this year. Yes. Four years since we are not doing nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah. Because we are that age and you can't work at that time. Yeah. And you know when you work overseas, the government to pay your money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they attend to you. Mm -hmm. So we were sitting down here. Unfortunately, it just didn't feel well that morning. Mm -hmm. I 
took him to the doctor. This has Tini. This to him. Maribat. Maribat series. Straight to Rosemary. Still on two. Two on the Sunday would be three weeks. So tell, tell us about the, the last day with him at the hospital. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What already happened? last day when I went, I couldn't go this Saturday because I said, you know, I'm too tired, I can't come this Saturday. Yeah. So I sent a guy to shave him, the guy shaved him nicely. So I went down with one guy and Jean, with another girl. And we went there. And when I went, I said, hello, Leo, he said, hello. It's on the I observed something in here. My dear. Well, something was different. This thing has been so long. I said, what's wrong, Leo? He's a man who don't talk. He don't talk. Especially when you have people. <laughs> <laughs> and he don't like people to know his business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's very secretive, man. And with that, I am very satisfied with that because it pays him mm -hmm. to be like that. Yeah. Because when you have too many friends, have to talk. Yeah, it's not wise it's to tell everybody wise. to school the Especially your yeah. business. Yeah, 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 you have to keep that to yourself. So that was, I, I was happy with that something. So when I reached at the hospital, I bring something to him, you know, a little insurance mm -hmm. for him. I say, Leo, what's wrong? Anyway, I give him a little loan, my seven John. He drank it. I give him a little insurance. He drank it as well. And he just, the only thing he said to me, I want a glass of water, please. That's between us. So, glass of water and family water. He said, night time, he's ahead. I said, oh, yes. And that was it. Hmm. Ah, that was it. The man just stretched on Stretch, 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 stretch. Long, long, long. I spoke for that meeting. I called the doctor. I said, Doctor, oh, my husband is dying. When I wake, I'm dying. Dead already. I move, I see him fall. Just like that. Oh, you're like to He never say nothing, he never tell me, vape, never say. Peaceful, quiet. Yeah, and quiet. The bed was very quiet. Make of it, yeah. And when I looked, I took it to heart. Yeah. See yeah. my bad. Boy. That was something. I screamed. The doctor said, Let the lady scream. Yeah. When I said that, yeah, the years we've been together, the two the sister cried. Yeah. He said, I say, what are you crying? He said, is the time you said before you leave here? Yeah. Because people don't live people like don't that. People don't live that long anymore, you know. And it must be so touching for you to be here. Because it's like you come one, you know. You're not person, you come one. One. You know, it's not like separated, it's like one. And he's you a know? guy, he never roughed me. Yeah. You know what I mean? He never roughed me. Never slapped me for 54 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leo was a nice guy. I'll always remember him. Perfect companion. Yeah. So, not surprisingly, that when you go to bed right now, then you're still wishing that thing. Yeah, I, I remember him. But gradually, though, you know? But you, 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 feel, you, feel, you feel his presence. Yeah. But gradually, yeah. it goes because uh, he will not come back. Yeah. So, I just have to satisfy. My daughters yes. are calling me all the time. <coughs> telling me I'm in of good courage. I say yes. You want to send for me? I say. I'm staying here. I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere else yet. Because I'm comfortable here. Yeah. You know? Thanks God he left me. Mm -hmm. Came here three times to sit with me. 
courage, you know? Yeah. So. But the, res the general response from the village? No, very good. Very yeah. good. Very good. Very good. It may not. The young boys yeah. are calling me all the time. Uh -huh. All the time they say, Maleo, Maleo, how are you? Self much better now. Yeah. And you had a grand funeral. Oh, I had a... <laughs> I had a, I never know they give book, book, my big book where everybody sign their name. Yeah. And I don't do anything. I go to Brother Simeon. And I told him, can you do everything for me? Simeon. Yeah. He's a loving guy. Yeah. Simeon is a loving man. He did everything for me. Every, everything. He chose the casket. He chose the tomb. He chose the dinner. He, he, he helps a lot of people. He helps a lot of people. Yeah, he helps a lot of people. Choose the flowers. He chose everything. He chose the heat. He chose who to read. First reading, second reading, yeah. collection. And those things, they, that's his thing. You know, he knows a lot about yeah. that, you know. So. <laughs> and, and I would be able to do that because yeah. I have got enough help. So it's, it's, it's good that you have help. You know, in yes. time you really need the help in to really I love around. that. I love yeah. that. And I appreciate Kalibishi people for the way they turned out yeah. on behalf of my husband. So it pays to yes. be nice to people. Yeah. Even if you're not in their home and oh, you don't know You don't need to be at home. Yeah. But hello. Yeah, your reflection, hello. you know? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm still getting cards from New York yeah. all about. Congratulations, Vivi. I'm sorry. Accept our sympathy. Yes, yes. I say yes. So that's why I would, I wouldn't run away from here as yet. I don't need anything to run away from. I am happy here. The house is bright. Yeah. I know Leo is there. It's spirit. Mm -hmm. I know he's there to look for God. I'm not afraid. You have your home. Yes. You are dispensed. Yes. Secure. Yes. You're right on the street. On the street, there people. I don't know how many are there. You yeah. have your vehicle. Alien there. To town for small. I have my vehicle there. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Everything comfortable. I'm comfortable. And you have health. Yes. Health and strength. So, you know, you can make it. Yes. I will make it if God's will. Right? And the children are calling me all the time. My sisters and them are calling me. But now he said to say, you want a ticket? He said, yeah. I don't want it. I don't want to go anywhere else. <laughs> I'm not really mentally right No, 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 <coughs> I don't want to go anywhere else. Probably next year, if I want to go, I'll go in the Caribbean, but not overseas. I don't want to go. You're like cold weather. You had too, too much of that. I had a lot of that. Twenty-something years in that cold. One place I didn't feel cool is in Canada. Yeah. Canada is so clean. I went to Canada. Nice place. So I think I'm satisfied for what I get. Yeah. So you you content, content with the life yes, that you my need. life. And my age, <coughs> I am happy of that age. Yes. And I'm still strong. So nice life. Courage. You know, so I hope the people that are you know looking at that video right now, especially young people can really take and, and take some life lessons yes. from what you said because I mean, it's very important to find, a, you know, the right partner, a good partner. The person don't have to be rich. No, 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 no. You know, uh, the person doesn't have to be that most educated person in the no. world. But the, the, the most important thing is loyalty and, and love. true friendship. And love, because yeah, love. without love, you can have the, the man can give you a lot of money every day. And the man don't love you. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. Yeah. You or know, the body loves somebody you know outside, so it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And love is not money. Ah, love is not money <laughs> at all. Love is having somebody today to hug you, kiss you, and, and they you, you. respect you, and you know. Mm -hmm. so, and you had that, so then you had a good life. Yes, thanks God, I had a good life. A good long life. We had our differences sometimes. Yes, but that couldn't be nothing with our life. That never shook us. Because, because why? The most important thing that you loved each other. Yes. And nobody else. Nobody else. You know? So whatever that was there, you just throw that out of the window and you move on.
because of, because you love each other. You know, you you are you not thinking of getting somebody else. You don't want somebody else. So whatever it takes to make it work, to make it work. Yes. And when God is for you, who can be against you? Yeah. God, you put God first in your life, and you have no problem. That's true. Fifth, you know, is very important. So, Viv, it's very good to have you. Thank with you Expose very much. TV. You know, it was a very interesting conversation. The reason why Expose TV did this is to really, you know, let people know the people out there that that really, you know, know about Viv. Yes, I know, have a lot of them. Can see. really, you know, get a little bit about your history and you know, a lot of them overseas. Yeah, especially your life, you know, in England. Oh yes. With your, your late husband, Lilim. Mm. You know, so it's very good to have you. Interesting conversation. I really enjoyed it. I hope our viewers will enjoy it. You know, our conversation with Mrs. Veronica Tobias. So, Viv, yes. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.